this, believe it or not, is the bit that I was absolutely, I'm looking forward to the most. If the vans are rocking, don't come a knocking, and it will be rocking in that kind of wind. Oh my doing? god, we've got the call and we're nowhere near. <laughs> oh my god. There she is. She's a beaut. <laughs> oh my god, she's amazing. Just turn Look at her. Corner. Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. Um, happy for you to be here. And happy to be here. <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> Nick's here too. I believe this is Nick if you are new around here. We spend most of our lives in this lodge and we've also just converted a VW crafter van into a camper van. We'd love to show you it, but it's not here. It's, it's having its wrapped the garage being wrapped. Fingers crossed we might get it back today. Um, but before that, we're gonna go out soon as well. So I won't attempt fate by going somewhere far away to get the call so we have to come back. If we go somewhere close to him, we're not gonna get the call. Stick with us. Um, anyway. Because we've got some things to do that we're doing um, some improvements to the lodge right. later in this vlog. Now, the, the, for now. Yeah, stop talking. We've got a Timu delivery. Uh, lots of things. When we did our two, two day trial in the van, we were making lists of all sorts of things that we needed from Timu. Um, some stuff is from Amazon as well, but we got some, some stuff delivered and it's all turned up. We can't wait to get the van back so we can try it. So I'm just gonna whiz through it all and show you what we got. Yeah, this is one that I put in the basket here. Let me show it from back here. It is- Fishnet stockings. A, how do you open it? You want to pull? Is pull, it? pull that. Yep. It's a laundry basket, which we're gonna put in the back of the van. Obviously we need somewhere to put dirty laundry. Light as a feather. And- um, And falls flat. Yeah, so I like that. They'll be good for baskets Is there no handle well. on that side? Uh, just three handles. Oh, that must be the handle to carry it. Like that. Oh, yeah. So, I right, like that. you dismantle it. Right, next one is a boot storage box for the car because Lee is always putting junk in the back of the car. So we're going to use that to, to tidy the car up. Got little uh, pockets and... Uh, Masha things. ordered a pink wig. It's actually a rug the for her bedroom. The girls. Whenever we um, order, I always say to them, what do you want? And um, let's have a little look at this while you look at some other stuff. It's ready to flow. It's like it's like the generation game where I'm just going to keep flowing. She wants. You've got to guess at the end everything we've bought. This for a bedroom. Actually, blesser. it's not that bad. Love heart rug. Yeah. Bless them. Still say it looks like a wig. Meet them at some point. And then the other one got um, nail and wow, nail and cuticle and eyeshadow. Yes, yeah, they're into their um, makeups. makeups and stuff. At the moment. Like fingernail scrapers to clean your nails right. out and stuff like that. Yeah. Once we send them this, they'll be like, oh, we want them now. <laughs> right, let's, um, so Lee wanted this folding bucket. Just hold the handle. For the fan. There we go. You can also use it if you want to do sandcastles. So that's going to be a definite useful item. This one is what I ordered. I saw this on a Facebook page and it's basically a rechargeable. We're going to have it in the van again. Yeah. We might get one for here as well. It's a rechargeable mini chopper. chopper. So it'll chop like garlic and onions and things like that. And well, before we put that in the van, I'd be quite impressed because we'll have another curry tonight. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll chop the onions we'll in chop it. We'll chop an yeah. onion. Right, hold on. There we go. It only works when the lid's on. You just so recharge you can't, it with the USB. So you can't chop your fingers. So that's that. I'm quite impressed with that one, actually. We have a chopper here, but it's like a manual one. Yeah, Who wants just, like, just like the manual grinder that we got as well. Yeah, now we're going um, to get an electric one. These things, can't wait to use these. So, so whenever you're putting a spoon on the worktop that's dipped in like red sauce oh, and it stops yeah. it getting on the worktop, so you put your spoon in there and so it got catches one the, the dribble. and one for the lodge. Yeah. I've needed one of them for years. Not sure how this is going to look. It needs fluffing up, but every van lifer has a dangling plant. It, it's a bit squashed at the minute, but it'll need to be opened and fluffed and what have you. So there we go. Um, the um, dishwasher in the background beeping. Actually, it's not a bad one. At first when I saw this, I thought, hmm, but... Um, Masha got a little um, oh, yes, purple yes. dress. A little purple, um, like a nighty uh, pyjama outfit. We've got these for clipping onto the back door of the van to store little bits and bats, although I have a feeling they may rattle right. around. I don't know how we're going to fit them. In it, that's the only reason. All right. Is that what they're for then? Yeah. I don't know how we're going to fit them. We'll find a way. Anyway. Always need lots of storage in the van, obviously. Now this one, Lee's going to use both places, especially in his new office. So it's a laptop holder. So you open it like this, you open it like that, and you... I'm going to try that today. It's got to get the right hole. Yeah. Uh, fourth one up, it's that one. And then stand it down. Lock it into position, put your laptop on it. 
like that. And it stops having boxes and boxes and boxes, which Lee has on the table, old sweet boxes usually to um, prop things up. So that's a nice little how handy, how it handy thing. Away. It's another one of those things like when they used to knock on the door and you used to buy things that you didn't really need. So the next one is I got a big set of magnets for when we fit the fly screen. And these Very things powerful. are so powerful. If you just listen to this noise as I clamp it to the chair leg, it's really difficult to pull that off. So hopefully that will be able to go through the rubber and hold the fly screen on. I might not have got enough though, so I might need to order some more. And then we got a little squidgy brush that we did dishes with. We actually got one of them from the pound shop, but that will be, um, that will be fine for um, elsewhere. Um, more stuff for the kids. I mean, they got lip, a lot this time. Lip things, unless you uh, wanted them. We got them some lip things. Uh, no, I didn't get lip things. One of the kids absolutely obsessed with lip balm for some reason. And then we got mash of these because we got the other one, um, some of these months ago. They are... That's a nice little box. Little, little tiny ear pods. There we go. So there we go. I absolutely love my earbuds. I couldn't do without them. Right. That's another one for them. You can send a picture when they get home from school. Uh, oh no, they're off this week, aren't they're they? Week. Oh, that'll be pure torment. We got a card reader for the laptop, so we can um, put SD cards in quickly. Yeah. My um, laptop doesn't have a card reader. We got these. Oh, I got a pink one as well. Coffee cup. That was a random. You, you, that was the random color. That's oh, a little bit small. It's a shame because that's perfect. I know. We couldn't order. We couldn't order more than one. Order one of them. We've been, I've been looking for the perfect cup for the van, and I think actually that is it. And then I got these copper lights, which we have on the trees here, because we wanted to string them on the top of the van. USB powered ones uh, with a little remote control. We've got them as well. So that we can have it all twinkly in the van. And, yep. Van and life. When you see van lifers on Instagram, sometimes they have all twinkle lights on the roof and it just looks mm, so cosy. Um, now this, believe it or not, is the bit that I was actually, oh. I'm looking forward to the most. Two bits of plastic. So this is going to go above the control panel and it's going to fit... Where's my phone? We'll have to use yours. It's going to fit my phone in either side, like that. Did you get me and it'll, No. And it'll be mounted to the wall. So when you're laid in bed, you can have the phone slotted in, but it just needs a hole putting in one side so I can put, put it on charge while it's hung there. Mm. So that'll be really useful. Mm. Uh, there's not enough room to have two on that, on that black area, but you can use that. I'll let you use it. Right. This one. A lot of people have asked in the comments, what are you going to do with your rubbish? I'm going to put it in this. In the van. So, it's a plastic bin, and inside, apart from it comes with some bin bags, you can actually wall mount it into the cupboard, or you can hook this thing on, like this, hold on, and actually hang that on top of a cupboard door or a drawer, so when you're cooking, you, just put things in. you just lift the lid, or you can move it to that side and scoop them in, or you can do it that side and just lift the lid that, that way. So it's like a multi-directional lid. So that will be really useful. As you notice, we've got all practical things this time. Um, these are some cargo nets for the back doors, so we can put the stretchy, stretch them off and stuff in like mucky More shoes orange. and things like that. Yep. And then we got we got a Kindle cover. Oh yes, love my Kindle. Read it almost every day. I need a new Kindle cover. And then the last two items for when the new desk arrives. Lee's got a... Um, when the new desk arrives, it's going to be my laptop station. Uh, but when guests, guests come. are coming, I'm going to take all my laptop stuff off and put that on it. Just so that people can put the stuff on it, put the makeup on it, whatever they want to put on it. Like a protector. It'll just protect the, the um, table. Yeah, well you should use that while you're, while you're editing as well. Well yeah, I thought I'd bought it in black actually. I mean it's like a reclaimed wood anyway, so notches and scratches are part of the, part yeah, of the thing. I thought I bought it in black, but that kind of... Uh, no, we changed it if you remember. Matches the colour and we have the, have the room. And then this, I'm not sure why we got this. What is it? Uh, it's non-stick surfaces for cupboards. I think you added it to oh, the basket. Just, well, yeah, for the van again. Now we've actually got some of this in here, so we may end up using this in the lodge. Let me just get it unraveled. There we go. And you can cut to size. I think it was for um, fridge. Fridge. It showed you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the fridge liner, so you don't get like dribbles in your fridge and having to clean and, your fridge and out. And things don't slide about. Yeah, when that was it. Van. Yeah. So it's like a non-stick matting for the fridge, but you could use it in drawers and things like that. And then the very last item 
which you've got to have this. This is like your, your typical caravan thing. You can't get them out of the packet because it's sealed. But we're going to put them up. They are things to stick your tea towels. So you screw them on and, or, or stick them on. I think these are stick on ones. And then pop your tea towel in it and it holds your tea towel. That's my pet hate. People puts the, puts the tea towel over the handle for the oven. His mum and dad do it every time they come and now see. I always, I always rag it off and put it in the drawer. I seen the when they were here. I ragged it off, <laughs> ragged it off. So, um, this so, has many pet hates. Yeah, including, mostly, including hard buttering cafes. Mostly everything that any other human being does in the case. So there we go. Um, that's our haul. All stuff that we're gonna, that's all like practical stuff this time rather than sort of less gadgets. So if you guys wanna try Timu for yourself, check out the description below for all the details and some codes for some discounts. Including some of the prices to all these products as yeah. well. Right, get that packed up for now what and um, I'm gonna send the girls a video of their haul and they'll be wanting to come over straight you know away. what we're gonna say, we'll be here by four. Change of plan. We're taking the Timo stuff for the girls because they're a little bit excited and we didn't want to make them wait while we posted it back or whether they come over next. And it's the back end of the school holiday. So if we send it now, it won't be there until they get back to school. So they're out shopping, but we're going to set off now and we're going to meet them somewhere, probably Leeds area, somewhere, somewhere like that. Um, we've got a few things to do over there anyway, so it's just killing two birds with one stone. And I know what's going to happen. The minute we get on the motorway, we'll get the call, Taylor will be ready and then we'll be turning around and screw the Timo stuff. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Isn't it? Well, thankfully, the guy who's doing it says he only lives 10 minutes away from yeah. where he's doing it, so... But he also said he'd been ready for last Friday and it's now going to be this Friday. So, I'm, I'm being cautiously optimistic with his estimations. Right, we're on the road. We should have set the dash cam up and left it set up, shouldn't we, while we drove back, just to give it a good test. Well, we knew we were going to put that in the van. So yeah, I don't want to waste the stickers, that was a thing. Yeah. Uh, we could always just order another one, get one for the car oh, if, it's, well, if it's good. We'll have the one back later today. Hopefully. Um, so we are gonna, we are gonna, we are uh, one hour thirty-four minutes away from meeting them. Um, we we're just saying now, when you have a, a, a lodge or a caravan, when you and you have to have like insurance for it, like you do any property, you have to. The one of the rules of the insurance is that you must turn your stopcock off between thirty-first of October. Mm to the 31st of March, must turn your stopcock off to stop any freezing pipes and things like that. Now, our lodge is residential spec, so people people buy these lodges to put on their own land and live in them, which we would love to do and move the lodge somewhere. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Um, and now it's past the 31st of March, we don't have to have the hassle of shutting the stopcock off every time we leave. So if you do own a caravan and you're not aware of that, then just check the um, terms of your insurance, because I pretty much guarantee that that will be one of the conditions that if you leave it, unoccupied you must turn the uh, mains water or if your pipes um, freeze yeah. up yeah that's why it's only valid from 31st of october to the 31st of march when the the, the bitter cold weather is is in those months um i guess that means that now insurance companies class that this is warmer weather now well it, you were just saying what it's, it's only supposed the... to be 18 degrees in a few days yeah I might finally get the shorts out. 18 degrees on Saturday, but it's due to be gale force winds. 20 mile an hour normal, 45 gusting. So definitely not sunbathing weather. But, but you never know, we might have to get around back if we're protected from wind. We'll be our way in van. You're thinking it's gonna be back for Saturday? In 18 degrees sunshine, oh, we'll yeah. be away in van. If the vans are rocking, don't come a knocking. And it will be rocking in that kind of wind. We've arrived Leeds side, so we're just going to go to the range. But we've just drunk a bottle of Rubicon each, haven't we? Yeah. We're absolutely busting for a piece, so we're going to nip into um, the toilets at next. Right, this is what we've come for. Um, we want something like that, maybe? Uh, is that silver? I think, no, that's silver, like see-through. It's not looking good. Don't think they've got what we need. We need a static one. Let's have a look at a and q Well, the shopping was a letdown. Can't get what we need. But they do have a cafe serving Costa, which is always a bonus. And we're just going to share a cheese and ham toasted. Does it look like a good one? Let's have a look. Mm. I've seen better. I'll tell you in a second. But it looks all right. Oh, it looks a bit thin, but not very heavy, not much cheese. In. So we're just checking on Amazon out for the DC fix that we need. Don't have it on Prime, so we'd have to wait a while. Mm. Oh my doing? God, we've got the call and we're nowhere near. <laughs> Yep. 12 o'clock tomorrow. 12 o'clock tomorrow lunchtime. Yeah. He says the only thing he's got left to do now is above the window at the front and um, the hinges on the back. Okay. That's it. That's not too bad. I'm getting very nervous. Why? To see what she's going to look like. 
I hope I'm not disappointed. Just looking at this rug while I'm here, and I have thought about a rug. I've seen it on some van lifers Instagrams. A little, right. yeah, that's perfect. Oh no, and it's it's double. Oh, that might be a bit big actually. Mm, it needs to be more like a runner type thing for the space that we've got. Skin, then. Yeah, yeah, because I've seen some people having stuff like this, and I think that would be kind of better. Here they are, looking at the Timu stuff. That's a right package of it's nail stuff. Nail. Look, at, look at the tips. You get white tips and clear tips. <laughs> What's that? Nail stuff. Oh, that's a, oh, that's that's a heart. A rug. rug for a... For oh, yeah, a uh, it's a wig. <laughs> that might not even fit in your bedroom, it's that yeah. big. It's a wig, look. It goes on like this. <laughs> okay, sure. There you go. That's what it's for. Like a key. Okay. Of course it is. And new headphones and all sorts of stuff. That'll keep you occupied for five minutes. But, um, yeah, there you go. Look at that cute little window with um, its own little covers and a little um, like flower box. That was a bit random I know but I just saw it as we were driving. We're driving back now to the lodge. It is 25 past six and I am starving. Me too. I'm actually, I'm actually wasting away me. All we've had is to eat today is half of that um, ham and cheese toasty. No. From the range. Why? Well, no. So we have... You've been scoffing buns. Oh I had a bun at my mum's as well um, and a cup of tea. That's it. And a little bit of fruit for breakfast, so I'm hungry. We're not going to get home until 10 past 7. Then we are going to make another curry and we're going to try that um, electric chopper. I'm sure, I'm sure you know, since the clock's changed, I've got jet lag since clock's changed, because the days seem to be just, <laughs> before you know it, it's 7 o'clock at night and it's well, like, where's the day gone? I, I couldn't believe it this morning. We, we, I stopped in, I slept in the other room last night because Nick thought he had a cold and it did sound bunged up last night so I'm like, I don't want a cold. I think it was just a croaky throat from talking so, so I'm much I'm going to go and sleep in the other room. I usually have a very good night's sleep when I sleep on my own, when you're not disturbing each other. I thought to myself, shall I put alarm on for like 7am, get up and finish my editing? I thought, no, because I'll probably wake up at that time anyway, which I usually do. Woke up about 5am, looked on my phone for five minutes, thought, oh, it's too early and I went back to sleep. Woke up again, Four second hours later. time, half past nine. I couldn't believe it. Well, like, oh my god, day's over. Um, I hate it. it obviously, I, I, my body needed that sleep, but I also hate waking up that late because it's like. But listen to your body. Well, I know, but then it's like half past six, and I feel like I only just got up a few hours ago. Yeah, but if you if you had a few days where you caught up, you'd get into that rhythm of being waking back up at normal well, half past seven time. Maybe your I and your body's telling you it needs sleep by sleeping. Maybe I'll have another night then in another spare room well, tonight. I'm getting a bit of a cold actually to come in again. Let's so. another room. Right, we're back at the lodge. Let me just put this other light on. Um, we are going to now try the little Timu chopper. Um, I'm going to get some onions and try chopping it up. Because it's only small, we're going to have to put them in, in like small pieces because it's, it is going to jam the machine with the, if, I, if we ram the, uh, the cylinder up. So we've only got... Um, ooh. Oh, we have. We're just because we don't have any, but we do. We've only got red onions, um, but onions and onion, who cares about what the colour is? And um, we're just going to put some garlic in it, put some corn in it, and then get some rice, and it'll be a nice 10 15 minute meal. Right, I've rinsed it out, put some onions in. Just waiting for Lee to come back because I can't do this and squeeze it together and vlog at the same time. But just figure out how the lid goes on. It goes on like that, I believe. Right, hold on, I might be able to do it. Ooh, not working. Can you just hold that, please? Might have gone flat. Uh, well, we haven't charged it yet, have we, so? Go and charge it for five minutes. Nick wasn't doing it properly. It was charged. It just needed to sit inside this tray properly, so. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Minus that bit. So, that goes back into the little spindle at the bottom and then the blades are very sharp. I'm going to try and put a bit more in this time. Are you going to put the um, garlic in as well? Why not? <coughs> I'm just <coughs> stuffing my face on a lind. Ready? Hmm? Oh, I think it's gone flash now, it's right flying right. Oh, for freak's sakes. Yeah, that, oh. You put too much in. It's chopped. Is the garlic chop though? Near enough. 
I mean, yeah, pretty much. I've just got a couple more pieces. Well, you have we'll to, to just do that by hand, but at least we know it works, and I'll get this thing on charge. Do that by hand as well. Look how finely chopped that is. I mean, you could go on forever. What do you mean, chopping it until it until it's just like a, a pulp? Yeah. I mean, I will put it on. I mean, we should have thought about this this morning. We should have just go and get it on charge. Well, I brought the charger here actually. So we're having spice racks tonight, which comes with the pot of sauce and what's these like herbs and stuff. These are just like the tikka masala spice. So when you do the um, spice racks, you do pot of that and then a pot of water of equivalent size, but we've still got some of that coconut curry left. Ooh, coconut, coconut yogurt. yogurt. It was nice that. It was, it was actually sugary and sweet, which was a bit nice actually. It made it taste a little bit like a korma. Lovely, I've just tried it, it's beautiful. We did put a couple of spoonfuls of this in, which we got from, it. where did you get this? Asda. Uh, yeah. Creamy coconut <coughs> Greek style yogurt. Very nice. Are we ready to serve? We are. Good morning guys, it's the next day. Today's the day the baby comes home from the maternity ward. In other words, Taylor's coming back. Um, I say that because I were having a bit of a joke with people this morning. It feels like um, a newborn baby that's just coming home from hospital. Um, I don't know what to expect. We're both pretty nervous as to how she's going to look. Um, you can't anticipate what a wrap's going to look like, but we've gone for a glossy one, which apparently doesn't last as long, lasts about seven years um, before it starts to look a bit faded and worn. But um, I doubt very much we'll have the camper van in seven years anyway, but today's the day. Um, it's half past 10 in the morning. I'm just waiting for Lee to put his teeth in and get his hair done. And then we are heading down to B&Q to get some of that film for the back window because we couldn't get any yesterday. And then driving into Hull and picking up Taylor. <sighs> I feel like I do when I'm going on a flight. My stomach's in knots. It does feel like we're picking up a baby from hospital, doesn't it? Well, no, not quite. Well, it is for me. <laughs> This is, this is my baby. Um, so we're gonna be in queue, we're almost there actually. We have got um, 10 minutes to go to get to be in queue. We're gonna get that frosting for the window. Probably do that in the next few days, because today uh, we're picking Taylor up. We're going back to the lodge and then- Having a proper look at her. Having a proper look, seeing what we have to, what seeing, uh, make the decision on what we're gonna do with the, um, the trims and things like that, whether we polytroll it or whether we stain it in this black stain that I found or or what, put the remaining bits in it and then take it to the Weybridge for the very last time um, to see how far off the weight budget that I've calculated. I think without water and half the fuel with about 200 kilos free, but we've been putting things in that we've not been weighing, so I would imagine probably about 150 kilos to spare. And then we've got to decide if we want another um, seat in there. Yes, because that will be weight dependent. So if we're cutting into our water weight, we will um, obviously not be able to have something like that, but um, everything in there that needs to be in there, apart from a few clothes, is in there now. So uh, that'll be another nerve wracking thing, won't it? We're here. Bloody hell, it's busy. Popular place, being q on, on uh, Easter holidays. I know, and it's actually, it's not Easter holidays. Well, it is for kids. Well, yeah, but not, kids aren't coming to B&Q. Wow. Um, it's actually quite cheap for here compared to Amazon. Amazon's like, he's trying to decide where to park. Yeah. Shall I pick one for you? I'm gonna... That one there. <laughs> I didn't want to pass it. Sleeve with his um, OCD indecisiveness. Um, so it's only about £9 a roll here. It's normally about £14 on Amazon. So as long as it's the right one, yeah. fingers crossed. DC fix, is that it? No. no. What about, what's this one here? Well, I it's this one, I think. I know that's patterned. Patterned. We want milk. I think it's that one. Milky. What, what's that one? Uh, uh, milky white mat. Not nine either. I don't know, £13. Oh, that's nine pound, yeah. Right, so it's so. the DC Fix Frosted Effect Static um, Cling Window Film. Yeah, but it's none of them. Just These gonna get it in the right cool. size. What, None's is this too big or something? Too long? too long and short. Mm, okay. Oh, don't tell me they have not got it again. But it must be on this, uh, is it not on this nine pound? Well, it was nine pound on the website, yeah. Assuming I were looking at the right thing. Is it that one? No, that's not frosted, is that's it? That's the right, oh, that's white wood. What's it's that length. Well, what's this one here? Uh, no, that's too short. Right, we think we found it, that's what we want. Milky effect. No, that's wrong. Which is, should be on uh, 14 and 46. Right, we're gonna get one of these uh, applicators as well. Are you sure you don't want the dragonfly one? No, I'm very sure, actually. I would, I would. No. <laughs> 
it's time to go and pick up Taylor. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. I'm sure it'll all be oh. fine. Right, come on then. Let's get it done. Oh my god. There she is. She's a beaut. <laughs> oh my god, she's amazing. Just turn look at her. the corner and there she is. Oh my god, how beautiful does she look? Now it's like a brand new van. Oh my god, I'm getting so giddy. Right, let's go and um, let's go and have a look. I can't believe how nice it is. We've not actually seen the guy yet. <laughs> we just can't stop looking. Oh my god. It's like I mean look at the, the trims and we've got lots of This is what we've got to do when we get back. All the trims have got to be sorted, all this green getting off. Are you impressed? Let's have a look at the back doors. And the hinges are all done. Oh my god. I'm myself absolutely... She's like a brand new van. Well, apart from this. But we'll get that up, we'll get that sorted this afternoon. Right, let's go and see him. Wow, I'm super, super impressed. Me too. Amazing. Right, we're back and it actually looks like we've got a different van in the driveway. Um, unfortunately, it is darker now, so it's going to look a little more um, filthy when we get any um, things on it. And, and it's raining now. And it's starting to rain as this well. Is the only thing that... I mean, I've checked the photos. That's where the lettering was. Yeah. And somebody put the lettering over it, but I can get some lettering off eBay for six ninety nine. That's right. So I'm just going to get the TDI and put that back yeah. on. I'm not going to put Crafter on the other side. No. It's pointless. We just need something to cover that. But they've done an absolutely amazing job. You would think it's sprayed looking at that. I know, it's 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 unbelievably good. Oh, and the trims, oh, they're just trim well, we need, that's the first thing we need to sort when we get back yeah. from the uh, the way bridge. We're just gonna go put some petrol in and get it weighed. So at this one where we go to, it's quite pricey actually, it's 20 quid, which I think is a complete rip off just for weighing a van. It should be we back. can get it done at another one for a tenner, but they don't do axle weight. No, this one does an axle weight, so front, axle, back axle, and an overall weight. Um, I still think it's a bit pricey, 20 quid for you know. Well, it, it only takes five minutes if that. There's nothing else to put in the van now, so. No, unless we want to put anything else in, which will be obviously decided once it's been weighed, um, because uh, if you watched our vlogs where we went away uh, for a couple of days, we realised that we really like sitting just behind this door um, and looking out of the van window on the right. So we thought, well, maybe, you know, we could get something there. If it is too heavy to put another anything else in like that, I'll just bring the cube, the beanbag, the great beanbag cube from the lodge because we've got two of those. And um, I know, but you, you, if we can't have a, a problem, you, you won't even come up to window. Oh, no, but you'll still be able to sit there. So anyway, it all depends on what this weighing is. Right, I'm just getting the whole thing weird now. Just waiting for him to thumbs up. Done. Right, back wheels only now. All right, stop. Right, we're just parked up waiting for Lee to go and get the um, the certificate. Let's see what we're on. I'm, an, I'm, ner I'm more nervous than I was when picking the van up. Ooh, I don't like that look on his face. I don't like that look on your face. We're underweight, but I'm not sure we'll have room for, uh, wait for uh, kind of a stool. Chair. No. Overall weight, 3340. Oh my God, thank God. Is that a lot? That's, that's well within budget. Is it? We've got 160 kilos left, and that's for 100 kilos of water. We've already got full fuel. Yeah. Oh, so we've got and we've got 60 kilos for possessions and a stool. So front axis 1540, back axis 1740, overall weight 3340. You can rest easy now. You can stop panicking. We've got enough, um, what do you call it, weight now to uh, do the things that we want to do. God. And um, oh, I can literally feel the tension coming out of my body. You put a brandy in mine. Oh, 160 kilos to play with now. Oh, thank God for that. We can. We might even be able to box the electrics in now. Oh, maybe. And put that coin floor down. 
typical. A seagull has shat all the way down the side. All the way down. Come and have a look at this. We need to get back to lodge to get it off the paint before it damages the paintwork. Why could it shat anymore? Biggest bit of poo I've seen. So he did tell us um, when we're cleaning the van not to use like a pressure washer like really close to it. Um, that's the same with all wraps apparently. Um, you've just got to, you can use a pressure washer but like on that spinny setting um, and leave it away from the van as much as you can. Well, that's coming off quite easy, thankfully. Kind of. Need it on a higher setting. Thing is, I don't want to rub it because there's grit in that. <laughs> Right, first job. We need to clean as much of the crap off this as we can before we put the polytrol on. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll start with this section and work this way and do the hardest bit last because then we'll have got used to it then. We've wiped those with water bit of white spirits in some places and uh, then dried them off with a noodle mitt. Right, what I need you to do is hold... I can't believe you're doing this in gale force winds. And uh, fin oh, wind. Storm Kathleen and piss off. Right, you try and hold that away from the plastic. It's already split and got stuck. Great. What, pepper? Yep. Hold it over like this. Yeah, use no, no, that. No, no, no. I need to get that out first. Hold it. I'll just do it with that paper. It's just flapping about. Are you sure? Yeah, get rid of that. I will need a cloth for the drips, though. And then this makes it look like new. Right, so what you do with this stuff is you paint it on thick, you leave it 15 minutes, and then you buff it off with a cloth. So I'm going to get it painted on. Um, and then Lee's going to go around with another cloth and then just wipe it off when it's when it's um, a chance to soak in. First panel is done. Feels like brand new plastic now. It feels a little bit oily when you wipe it off. We're supposed to use lint-free cloths, but we couldn't find any. So we've had to use normal multi-purpose cloths. So it's gonna get bits all over it, but I can't help that. But um, there we go. So I've wiped the oil off the first bit that's been on about 15 minutes. And then you just do the same for each panel, bit by bit. And that will stay, that color, for a year, maybe. And then you just treat it again. So it feels when you wipe it that it feels like sticky, but when you touch it, it's, it's really dry to touch. So any dust will just brush off. Brilliant stuff. I'll just show you the bottle again. Or the tin, should I say. In case you uh, ever want to try this on your uh, bumpers or like doors. We've used it on our door before to make it black again. Works a treat. Here comes the real test. 
the front bumpers, look how grey they are. It struggled on that bit near the um, fuel point. Really struggled. So, here we go, I'll just paint it on. Like this. Seems to be doing its job, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I can't believe how grey they were. Oh, well, they are uh, at the moment. Just lacking oil. I mean, a lot of people have said, oh, you can just use a um, heat gun. You can, but it lasts a couple of months, if that. This will last a year, maybe two. Oh my God, look at that. So you saw how that was. So we'll do a quick screenshot before and after. One layer of polytrol on that, all the way around. I've done all these grills as well. And all the way around, I've done underneath, so it's protected underneath. Followed it all the way around. There's some bits where it's been resprayed at the front where it's silver, and I can't get that back. That's not going to work. I've blacked the tyres. I've done these, which just needs wiping off when I've got a moment with a. Uh... Well, I've got to say, it's looking well, impressive. Yeah. Well. She's looking impressive. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? You would not believe that that is a 20 year old bike. I know. Well, not 20, but. And, follow me. So all them were all that cloudy grey, and look at them with one coat of that stuff. It's almost like it's metallic to match the paint, isn't it? Yeah. And here, I've put the new trim on. So that's now secure in place. All the clips, which I used the tiger seal from the um, the window stain. Yeah. So tomorrow to or whenever, when they get an, an, a next day, of, a good day, when you sort this. I don't know how we're going to do that. I've done the door handles, so they've all been done, but there's still paint on them. So we need to get them off as well. Yeah. And then repolitrol them. And I've given it a rinse <laughs> and I've just wiped it with a. a towel it's as if we've gone out today and bought a brand new van. I know it does look amazing, doesn't it? It's I love stunning. it. Now I just want to go away. We've got some work to do first. Right, we're inside. We had a moment of indecision, or I did. I literally got in the car, Lee's just making tea. I got in the car and set off to Halfords um, to see if I can get some spray paint to spray this. And I was just thinking to myself, it's full of bits of God knows what else. I can just get a new one off eBay for 50 quid, 59, 56 quid. So we've replaced everything else. We might as well just get a new one, haven't we? <laughs> well, I just put a new engine in as well, let's brand Well, it's almost got a new engine in. Look how beautiful she looks outside there. I thought you were going to say, look how beautiful the teas are making. Well, it's, it's beans and toast. It's over there. No, are you going to put some Marmite on it to give it some flavour? It's not beans on toast. Uh, whatever. Um, look at egg on toast. toast. Scrambled egg on toast. Fluffy. Oi, Marmite, Marmite. No, no, no. I want some. Look at these fluffy scrambled eggs. A bit rubbery. <laughs> Get lost. Go on, I've changed my mind. I'll have mm. some uh, Marmite. <laughs> Because I imagine it'll taste quite nice with that. There you go. Nice. Scrambled eggs. Get it set then. Welcome to the next day. A very beautiful, sunny, windy blue day. sky. Well, windy day as well. Baking. That storm's still around. Baking day. Well, you've got your hoodie on in indoors, that's why. Um, it's because I've got no on, that's why. Underneath. Um, I do my best to keep this place tidy. So I tidy up every day. And then when I wake up, I'm greeted with this. Well, today is a day of getting Taylor prepped for, if you want to go away in it before Tracy and Neil come next weekend, we have all this to do. I have a dilemma, I've always got a dilemma, and if anybody's asking why we've got sunglasses on in the house, we it's have very about bright. 15 windows in here, and you basically get glared, so I just keep my glasses on. Problem we've got is that the first big task is we need to get that through the floor, where the cables are that run from the DC to DC charger to the, leisure bat to the starter battery just to protect the cable inside a conduit because we never put them in so under under the floor there's positive and negative together rubbing against each other so i need to get them into a conduit so that's one job the next one is i need to get a 12 volt power cable from the fuse box at the back to the front to run the dash cam off i also need to send back um, from the dash cam the cable for the reverse camera on the back all through a, a, a hole that's that big and that wide. And there's only two cables running through it now. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to that at all. And I've also ordered that off eBay. Yeah, the that new, should new one of those. And because we're having new for there, when we've had the, the weather had the van in the past, the bit that goes on the corner, 
is actually damaged and it's been in, a, in an accident, they've run, run into something, so it's got a big hole in it. So I've ordered the corner piece as well. Um, and I've also ordered some lettering for the back where that dint is. So I've ordered some TDI lettering to cover the dinter, and instead of saying crafter, I've ordered the lettering that says camper. It's not a bit, a bit of a twist, you know what I mean? Mm. It looks like crafter, but it says camper in silver letters. So I've ordered all that off eBay. Um, all this lot then needs to be gone into the van. I need to install um, these, this foam mount, but I need to screw them in. I'm not going to stick them because they'll just fall off. I need to install these on the back um, doors. So screw them in and then we've got storage maybe for boots and things. Um, that's to go in the car. That's for the car, yeah. And then this other bit just needs to be stowed away. I need to fit them in the van. I can't believe I'm actually putting these in, but I, I can't have tea towels just lingering on cooking. Well, somewhere we can just leave the tea towels in the drawer, like we do here. Well, what have I ordered that for? Well, I don't know, to be honest, because you know we don't really use those kind of things. Well, I'll it does look them. very caravan doesn't it? I'll have it? to give them away. I'll you give them to somebody. Um, and while you're just getting all that ready, I'm going to tidy the kitchen, which is a mess. Oh, look at Taylor out there. Oh, yes. A right. new so, um, wrap. Yes. The other bit that I've got is I've not got, when we finished the van build, I took any excess tools that my cousin lent me back to him, including a roll of cable. And typically, what do I need? A roll of cable. So, Wait, what are you going to do? Uh, there's nowhere sell it that I can think of. Uh, Amazon do, but I want to get it done today. Well, if no Alfreds sell. do it, but they only do a five amp one. Well, you have to just get it tomorrow then. So we'll be doing all that later today. today. What? Today. Today, but it'll be in the next vlog. Um, because I'm going to finish the vlog now and go tidy the kitchen, get ready for the day and <gasps> do all oh, this work. Wait a minute, we've got one more thing to do as well. We have to, Lee wanted these. Hold on. Lee wanted, want. oh yeah, yeah. It was a good idea, this. Side mats, side door mats. Mm. When you get into the cab, um, because we put that black flooring in now, the black carpet, it gets filthy straight away. So we wanted somewhere to just wipe us feet before we get into the cab. So we got this from Ikea with a rubber back on it so it's not anti-slip. So what I need to do is cut a silhouette of the step shape out, flip it over, cut it out of this, and then they should fit nicely yeah. on the door. Yeah. I might let you do that. I'm actually best not. That'll be in the next vlog, so thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. We love reading all your comments, and we try to reply to as many as we can. And we'll see you on the next vlog when we're doing all that work on the camper van. So much fun. See you on the next vlog. Bye.